Hi, family. Hi. Where are we going today? Sheep Lake. And? Sourdough Gap Trail. Oh. Sourdough Trail. Yeah, by Mount Rainier. Is so, the Sourdough Gap too, though? I think we're both right. I think we're both right. To the Sourdough Gap on the Sourdough Trail, a hike we've never done before. And we're going to take you with us. And we can't wait. So come on along. What do you think of the hike? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. And there's a lot of mosquitoes. There's a lot of mosquitoes, which we knew, and we sprayed our gear. The bug spray that we wanted to get was out of stock everywhere. So we were hoping the stuff on our gear would be enough. We're still having fun. Liam. We got the lake all to ourselves. The whole lake to ourselves. Brody did it. It was about 1.8 miles to get here. Brody did the whole thing. Brody did the whole way here. Hopefully, they don't have to carry him on the way back. He's such a good boy. Look at that face. Do I have seeds in my teeth? I couldn't tell, so it's not my fault this time. And we could keep going on the sourdough trail to the sourdough gap. Yeah, sourdough gap. But his little feet are tired. He was really slowing down at the top already. So, and it was mostly uphill, gradual, but. Um, definitely can't do another four miles with little tiny 
wiener dog paws. So I think we'll hang here. We're having some snacks and then we'll head back down. Cool. Cool. Hey buddy. What? What'd you think of this place? You love it? What about the trail? Not so much. No? How come? It was so long. So long? It wasn't that long. What would you say if other kids were like, hmm, should I do this trail? I would be like, no. No, but you said this place is amazing. So how do you get here? You gotta do the trail, right? So is it worth it? Did I twist your arm into saying it was worth it? <laughs> Did I twist your arm into saying it was worth it? Did I use Jedi mind tricks on you? Look. What's the best part about it? That view's not too bad, right? We made it! We made it! Back to the parking lot. Back to the parking lot. <laughs> the lot is filled with cars. Have you ever seen this place? It is so incredible. Meanwhile, but it's it like completely empty. But <laughs> empty <laughs> is the word you would use. Definitely needed our bug spray. 
which we knew going into it, but we just really wanted to get out today, so that would have made it a little bit more enjoyable. Um, it was a good hike overall for a small dog. Brody's got little legs, obviously. He was tired, very tired by the end of it. Um, Liam did great. I would say round trip, it was a, just under four miles, and um, we took our time because we were taking shots and um, taking breaks, water breaks, but it was not shots. Not video shots for this family video um, took us about an hour and 15 each way so I think you could very easily do it un under an hour if you were moving the whole time it was slight elevation gain um, all the way up to Sheep Lake which you saw in the video and I would say gradual it was a steady um, gain though the whole way up but pretty gradual and very doable a couple exposed areas where we took our time with him and with the pup and It was great. It was just great to get out very quiet very serene. We went later in the day We got there around 3 30 and it's almost 8 o'clock now. So we took our time um, And it was nice. I think we saw four people coming down. So glad we did it on to the next hike on to the next place yeah, I said that when we were at the lake. Um, that would be the one done. I would come back. You would come back. And do the extension. To do the extension to Sourdough. It looked pretty past the lake. Yeah, it looked pretty past the lake and um, Miles, views, better. better views. Supposedly, you can see Mount Adams, Mount St. Helens on a clear day. So, um, yeah, but we really like the hike right next door. Um, Notch's Peak is so beautiful, so Jason hasn't done that one yet, so we might come back and do that. We still are huge fans of Degay Peak, that's one of our favorites, so we're slowly but surely getting out there and doing more. Goodbye! <laughs> Liam, you want to say bye?